Hello everyone and welcome back to Exibo Media. Now this video is going to be the first of a few videos where we're going to show you guys the cool and different features uh, that encompass the fact that Exibo is a robotic camera mount. Um, and most of that is about the tracking and a lot of these videos are going to be about the tracking system. Uh, now what is tracking? Uh, now I guess the easiest way to explain it is that you're experiencing it right now. The camera that I'm using to film this video is mounted on top of Exibo and Exibo is configured in human face tracking mode which means that it looks for a human face, it locks onto that face, and then it continues to follow it. So what you'll notice is that if I move around, and if I move from side to side, and I'm moving pretty quickly, or I move down, or I move up, uh, Exibo continues uh, to follow me. Now, Exibo's motion settings right now are set to kind of medium aggressive. The reason is that I want to show you guys that it moves fast, uh, but also that it moves smoothly. Um, so Exibo's tracking settings can be changed in all kinds of different ways. So how does the tracking system work? Now, that's a really good question. Uh, the tracking system it needs, first of all, a picture. So it needs a picture of something. Uh, in that case, it's right now it's a picture of me. Now, Exibo has a built-in processor, and that processor is very, very powerful. Uh, it's pretty equivalent to a notebook, a, a modern notebook that you would use. It's got six cores. They're all running at about two gigahertz, so it's a lot of processing power. And it takes that image, and what it does is it looks in that image, it looks and compares it against pre-trained models to see if there's anything inside that image that resembles a human or a human face. And now the way it does that is very complicated and it's a lot of software work. But essentially what you get is you get something saying, yes, there's a face and it's located here. And then what we can do is we can use that information to move Exibo around. So we can move Exibo uh, based on what uh, the cameras see. So where does this image come from? Well, it comes from one of two places or it can come from both of these places. The first is Exibo has a built-in wide angle camera. So Exibo right now, even though you only see my head, Exibo sees most of the room. And it sees it at a very high frame rate. It sees it at about 100 frames a second. Um, but we can also use the camera for telephoto uh, or very close up tracking. So most DSLRs and uh, camcorders have an HDMI output on them. You can take this HDMI output and you can plug it into uh, the Exibo controller. And this allows you to use your camera feed uh, to do uh, some of the tracking as well. Um, with the Exibo process. So what's the application of tracking? It's not just following me around the room. That's, that's only one of a very few number of applications. Uh, you also have to think that Exibo can use this information not just to follow, but also to find. For example, let's say that you've set up Exibo in the corner of a room and you want it to find people whenever they walk in the room. Uh, and you want it to look at them and you want it to take a short video or maybe you want it to take a picture of them. Uh, and you want to do that maybe because you're at an event and you want to get pictures of all of the guests. Um, and maybe you only want to get pictures when the people are smiling. Now, all of this stuff can be set up in the Exibo app. It's very simple and very easy to use. So in this case, whenever someone walks in the room, Exibo will look at, Exibo will find them with its nice wide angle camera. Then it will point the camera, uh, it'll point your DSLR at them, uh, and then it'll trigger and take a picture. So what this relies on is that you set up your camera well to work with Exibo. So for example, you have Exibo's wide angle lens that sees everything and it'll locate and move your camera very nicely to see uh, the object or the subject uh, and put it in the center of the frame. Uh, now, the cent you don't have to put it in the center of the frame. You can also locate it anywhere you want in the frame. You can also actually have Exibo choose where the subject should be in the frame uh, based on the location. And that's another really cool feature. So I hope my moving around isn't getting too uh, sickening. I just want to show you guys how the continuous tracking system works. I'm gonna do another little tiny squat. And now I'm gonna show you guys how it will also track an inanimate object. One of the other things that I wanted to show you was how Exibo tracks inanimate objects. Uh, so it doesn't just track people and animals, it also tracks just about anything you want. And you can either use our pre-trained objects or you can quickly train objects as well by showing them uh, to Exibo. In that case is what I've done here. So this is just an old Manfrotto ball mount. It was just sitting on the desk, so I thought, hey, we, we can use this. Um, and uh, it took me about 10 seconds to train Exibo uh, what this object looks like. Now what you can see is that as I move this object around, Exibo tracks it, and Exibo keeps it um, in the specific part of the frame that I've selected, which you'll notice is a little bit to the left. So it's always keeping the object or the subject a little bit to the left. Now one of the things to also note is that Exibo its camera, its inbuilt camera, is very wide angle. So it sees the entire room. It sees just about everything. Um, and it's able to track and keep this uh, in frame uh, very smoothly. And even if I put it down and then go pick it up again, 
Uh, it'll do the same thing. And it also, I can change the orientation of the object. Um, just leave it there, slide it, uh, and it keeps tracking um, the object uh, as, as we move it around. run back and forth in the parking lot so you guys can watch Exibo do full body tracking with me as I run back and forth and I'll try and run as fast as I can possibly.